Hi, Broncos. I wanted to share with you how to log in to our Pearson website for math. On your home page, what you need to type in is start.hcps.org, and that's something you want to save on your computer. So if you hit start, you will come to this menu here with a bunch of tiles. Here is our Pearson Realize tile, so you will want to click on there. Now I'm going to log on like a student. Students log on. You will type in your student ID at student.hcps.org. Everybody's password is the same. BEST0202. And then you will sign in. From here, you'll see this page. You want to click on the Pearson Realize tile right here. Now, from here, you're going to go into classes. And here's where your playlist will show. Now it can be not started, could be in progress if you started it and want to come back. But here is the playlist for week six. It would be three digit subtraction, or it would be just like this, three digit subtraction, Miss B's friends. So you may have either one of them, but you want to click on that there. And after you click on the first link, so this first link for this one is instructions for assignments. So you'll click on that and read the activities you need to do here. Okay, so on the subtract and review page, numbers one and two, and so on. So if I go back to Pearson, I'm going to follow this right along in order. So here it's number one and two, like we said. Here is, this is an anchor chart. So if you click on here, there will be an anchor chart to assist you on this playlist. The other playlist is a little different. Okay, you can X out of that. Go right back to Pearson where you left off. There's the visual learning. So that comes up. And then you follow right along all the tiles through. This one has eight tiles. So this is the last worksheet that you'll see. Remember, each week will be different. But I just want to have you. I just want you to understand how it works when you're in there. You'll cl click the last button here that says turn in all. And then it'll prompt you to say, are you sure you want to turn in this assignment with incomplete work? At the at this point, you may have some things that say in progress. That's OK because you're writing them in your in your notebook or you're writing it on copy paper, that's okay. As long as you go through each one of the steps up here, then you're fine. Hit turn it all and that will come to your teacher. Any other questions, please let your teacher know and we'll be happy to help you.